Hello, everyone. This is Phoenix Tremaine here, and I've got your spoilers for Young and Restless for the week of June the 10th. This is going to be a fast video. All of them are going to be fast videos because it's Sunday. I usually try to get the videos out by Saturday morning or if you're a member Friday night because um, we did our live on Friday with all the spoilers and everything. But I've had a hectic weekend. Things, Good things have happened, but took up a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is give you these spoilers straight. I'm going to save most of my commentary. And next week, uh, we'll be back to normal, um, where I'll give you more commentary on everything that's going on. And with, without further ado, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe. It's free to do. Give the membership a try. Um, we definitely always do our live Zooms with great information and having a great time, great conversations. So if you want to be a member, that's a plus on my book. Also, we're going to start with Monday. Um, Tucker and Ashley made up because I guess she's leaving the show. So on Friday, she said goodbye to Jack. On uh, Monday's episode, she says goodbye to Tracy and Tucker. Um, <clears throat> they sort of fast forwarded this, this storyline uh, with Ashley within two episodes. She didn't had like almost full recovery, no more voices, no more alters. She's going into inpatient care indefinitely because something happened with Martin and something happened in her childhood. And so she's going to figure that out off camera. Um, I said in our, my live Zoom that Young the Restless has a tendency to kill off its villains. Um, instead of developing them or making them reoccurring, the only one they've kept so far is Jordan. It's because she's a fan favorite, but they killed off Jeremy Stark. They killed off uh, Martin. They killed off uh, Cameron Kirsten. You know, you know. We when last time we seen Marco? So, Young Russ is in doing good with villains when they just kill them off like it's more combat or something. Um, so the only other thing that happened was Victor, uh, meeting with, uh, well, he sees Michael and Cole and they go back to the mansion and he gives them ultimatum, you know, if you want to be back in my good grace, Michael has to befriend Diane and Cole has to befriend Kyle. And Michael starts to figure out that he has some sort of plan against Jack or the Abbots and, you know, of course he's right. We know that. And uh, that, they sort of like left it at that. That's how it ended. But that's that's it. Not a lot happens on Monday. They also had this missed moment. Um, I said from the first time I saw them together that Tracy and Alan had such great chemistry. He's the right age. You know, they, they just look good as a couple. They work well together almost like Tracy and um, Gregory over on General Hospital. It just works. And when he's like, can I give you a hug? And she's like, oh, okay. I'm like, ah, we're missing out on what could be a great romance for the show. But um, moving on to the spoilers for the rest of the week. On uh, Tuesday... Victor reveals a new business strategy to the family. Nikki confides in Lauren. And Adam experiences deja vu with Victoria. On uh, Wednesday, Victor and Nikki share a difference of opinion about her connection with Jack. Claire lets her guard down with Kyle. And Nick questions Victoria about her future plans. Thursday, uh, Cole and Victoria revisit their past. Audra has a rude awakening. And Summer struggles co-parenting with Kyle. And finally, on Friday, Victor retaliates against Jack. Billy turns on the charm of Lily. And Diane settles unfinished business with Nikki. And so that is the rest of the week for Bargain Restless. I hope you guys had a great weekend and you're going to have a great week. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.